It's Katie Clancy, Chief House Hawker at the Cape House at William Ravis, and you are watching the Cape House Show, where we give you the tips, tools, and sense of humor you're going to need to get through the biggest transaction of your life. What is the difference between Bayside Beaches on Cape Cod and Soundside Beaches, Nantucket Soundside Beaches on Cape Cod? So we're talking about Cape Cod is shaped like an arm, and if you look in here is Cape Cod Bay, and down here is Nantucket Sound. The beaches on this side are different from the beaches on this side, which are also different from the beaches on this side, but we'll get to that at another time. So when you live in you know, like Barnstable, Dennis, Yarmouth, Brewster, Harwich, you have access to like two really different kinds of beaches. So I'm going to talk specifically about Dennis because that's the town I know the best. So it used to be that the south side beaches were like all the rage, West Dennis Beach especially. It's over a mile long and people would just go there and south side was where it was at. And then exit nine went in and we shifted. So the grocery stores used to be down on the south side and everything. Then we got a big grocery store and a big center of commerce at exit nine. And it drew the business away from the south side and it drew it up a bit. And so things changed on there, but also it brought some new discovery to the north side beaches, which people in the past had dismissed as like, oh, you have to walk so far to get out there and blah, 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 blah. The tide goes out forever. You never get water and then it comes in and you lose the beach and blah, blah, blah. But actually people came to appreciate things that the north side beaches, bay side beaches brought. So I'm gonna boil it right down to you now because now we're starting to see a balance. We're balancing out the north side and the south side in terms of popularity. So on any given day, you might be looking for different things at the beach. So on the north side, you have, just like I said, because of the way the glaciers came down and dragged all this sediment and whatnot, it left a very gradual um, sort of slope out to the bay. So that, that's what gives us those long, deep tides and the tide pools and the there's, you know, lots of driving beaches on the north, well, fewer and fewer, but those are the beaches that people drive out on, and you, it's kind of a cool family thing to do because you can just spread out, people put out their volleyball nets, and it's really kind of cool. Um, so that's what I think people really appreciate about the north side beaches. On the south side, what people really appreciate is, again, the way the glaciers came and dropped the sediment you can actually get really close to the beach. So in West Dennis, you can pull up to the beach. Your nose of your car will be at the beach and you just get out and go up the little stairs and there you are. You're at the beach, you've got traditional waves, you've got warmer water too with the Gulf Stream, the way it goes, we'll get warmer water there and fewer sharks. If I'm being honest, we do have a little shark issue in the bay, just saying. Um, so there you go. Those are some of the reasons, some of the differences between the north side and the south side. And the great thing is too, like depending on the day, if you go to the north side, for instance, and the tide is high and there's not much beach, no big deal. Boop, 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 boop. Just go down to the south side and you will always have a place to be. And depending on where the wind is coming from, if it's really windy on the south side, you might find the north side is a little more sheltered. And I encourage anyone who's here visiting um, in Dennis to try both sides of beach is a completely different experience and it's really kind of cool. If you want to know more about our beaches or more about us, come see us at thecapehouseteam.com.